Hi everyone, I'm Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. In today's session, we will learn about past continuous tense. We will look at its structure and uses followed by a practice exercise in the end. So let's start. Continuous tenses are also called progressive tenses. Past continuous tense sometimes is also called past progressive tense. Now this tense is very important in English language. It is used to describe an action that was happening or going on at some point of time in the past. Now look at the structure. First it starts with subject then to be verb in past was verb plus base form of the verb plus ing. Now if you want to get to know about to be verbs in detail so I have made a separate video on that. I will mention the link in description box you can go through it. Now uh, just remember one thing that we in continuous forms we always use base form of the verb with ing. We can never use ing with second or third form. Okay. When do we use past continuous tense? There are two main uses of past continuous tense. Number one, describing an action at a particular time in past. Okay. For example, at 8 p.m. I was cooking. Okay. So the action here is cooking. All right. So this is a specific time in the past and the action of cooking started before 8 p.m. And it continued till 8 p.m. It was at 8 p.m. It was still going on. It didn't end. That's why we uh, made this sentence in past continuous. Okay. So the difference between simple past and past continuous is this only. If an action started in past and ended in past only, that is simple past. Okay. I watched a movie. Okay. So it started and ended in the past only. And past continuous is that an action started in the past and it continued till a specific time it can be the time can be anything like 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 12 30 okay so that action continued till that specific time in the past so that is called past continuous okay let's see another example we were having lunch at 12 30 so here having means eating okay so the verb is having so they started to eat their food before 12 30 pm and it continued till 12 30 so when in the past when uh, it was 12 30 they were still having their lunch okay they did not finish it all right that's why the action continued till this time in past that's why we used past continuous here they were playing cricket in the afternoon so here in the afternoon again it refers to the time only okay so it can be in the afternoon in the morning at night or at 12 o'clock at 6 o'clock so this refers to the time only here okay so they were playing cricket in the afternoon that means they started uh, playing cricket in the morning or before afternoon and that action uh, continued till afternoon that's why they were playing cricket in the afternoon okay if they had finished the game before afternoon then we would have framed this sentence in simple past tense okay at 5 pm max was sitting in the class what was max doing in the class at five o'clock he was sitting in the class so the action of sitting started before five and it continued till five that's why Max was sitting in the class at 5 p.m. So the difference is only this whenever an action starts in the past and ends in the past only that is simple past and when an action starts in the past continue till a specific time in past that is past continuous tense. Second situation is when we compare two finished actions in past for example when I went out, it was raining. Okay. So uh, when I went out again, this refers to a specific time in the past. Okay. This is in simple past. So when this action happened, okay, when I went out at that time, another action, the action of raining was going on. Okay. 
it continued till this action when i went out it was raining okay that's why the first sentence is in simple past and the second sentence is in past continuous because when this action happened at that point of time this action raining action was going on it didn't stop it it continued okay now in second sentence children were playing when mother entered the room so when this action happened okay this is in simple past when the mother entered the room that time one act what action was going on children were playing okay the action of playing was going on all right so that's why this is in past continuous okay i went back home early because it was raining so this is again in simple past i went back home early why did i go back home early because this action action of raining was going on that time it continued at that point of time in the past okay so i went back home early because it was raining this action was going on in the past in the last sentence i helped her because she was crying so you know this is simple past tense so why did i help her because at that point of time the action of crying was going on she was crying she didn't stop okay when i helped her that time she was crying uh, this action in the past was going on okay so whenever we have these kind of sentences we use combination of tenses like you know simple past tense and then past continuous now you try to do one thing think of some different sentences and try to frame them using simple past or past continuous this will help you to understand these tenses in a better way i want to tell you one important thing over here we use simple past tense to describe the sequence of actions for example if i ask you what did you do on sunday so you would answer i woke up at 8 then i freshened up and went out for breakfast okay so whenever we have to uh, talk about the sequence of actions in the past we use simple past tense now we use past continuous tense when we want to help the listener to understand the situation or to you know picture the situation more clearly then we use past continuous tense how when i reached home my brother was lying on the couch having noodles and watching a movie okay so this way the listener can imagine can picture the situation in a better way that's why in stories we use past continuous tense to set up a scene so that the listener can imagine the whole situation can imagine the whole scene how like he was driving through the woods it was raining the wind was blowing hard the trees were waving their branches suddenly my car stopped and i heard something so here if you see that you know here we have all the sentences are in uh, past continuous was blowing the trees were waving okay these so here we are trying to set up a scene okay so that uh, listeners can imagine the whole scene can understand the whole scene okay and then suddenly my car stopped so this is simple past i heard something so this is what happens when you tell a story that it starts with past continuous and gradually it moves into simple past so whenever you are talking about a scene when you are describing a scene so you will frame sentences in past continuous and then you will move into simple past now we have understood past continuous tense let's practice some sentences here we have positive negative and interrogative sentences in past continuous tense let's go through them one by one i was playing now how to change it into a negative sentence i was not playing you just have to add an extra not i was not playing interrogative was i playing now if you have to uh, make a negative interrogative then was i not playing was i not playing okay was not is the expanded form and the contracted form of was not is wasn't and 
contracted form of were not is weren't okay all right so was i not playing wasn't i playing okay she was helping me she was not helping me or she wasn't helping me was she helping me was she not helping me wasn't she helping me my dad was cleaning the car my dad wasn't cleaning the car was my dad cleaning the car was my dad not cleaning the car or wasn't my dad cleaning the car they were talking they were not talking were they talking were they not talking weren't they talking okay so that is how you can change a positive sentence into negative then interrogative okay thank you for watching my videos if you find them helpful please like and share with your friends feel free to leave comments do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos thank you take care and have a great day